John the Baptist could have easily done that. He's in prison. He was serving God as a forerunner. And he was declaring to everybody that this is Jesus, this is God. Yet now all of a sudden he's in prison. But Jesus says, listen, when you are in trouble, you are to come to me. All of you that are having problems, all of you that are fatigued, that are toiling and dealing with strenuous tests and problems and issues. Come unto me, all you that are labor, all of you that are weary. You ever get tired? I know it's right. Amen. Tired of stuff, tired of things, Amen. tired of situations, tired of life. Amen. He says, come to me, all of you that are exhausted. I believe that the church is exhausted. We are running to and fro, trying to do too much in our own strength, and we have become exhausted. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, Amen. I believe there, we, we don't, sometimes we don't even want to help folks. We're tired. Tired of helping. Tired of carrying burdens. Tired of fighting the devil day in and day out. Tired of telling people the same thing over and over. Tired of dealing with kids. Tired of dealing with bosses. Tired of dealing with parents. Exhausted. Life does that. Jesus understood that life does that. And so in his text, he says, listen, you need to come to me every last one of you that are laboring and are heavy laden, weighed down, worried, burdened, oppressed, struggling. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we have to endure. Sometimes we have that stuff in the back of our mind and we try to act like everything's fine. Mm -hmm. But I know everything's not fine. There are so many different stresses in life that, you know, we, sometimes if we think about it, it, it gives us a headache. You know, we have the stresses of our children's health. You ever had kids and they get sick? And then the doctor really don't know the answer? More than that, you ever get sick? I got a call from Sister Sarone for some of you that know her. My own brother Jess is going back in for the fourth time for back surgery. The fourth time. And she called distressed out. I said, listen, honey, that's the wrong response. The right response to a problem is faith. Amen. Not worry and stress. And we don't know. The doctor's saying they don't know. I said, listen, there's one person that knows. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they can operate wrong and paralyze him. Yes, things can go bad for him. But listen, we serve a God in heaven. And he says, come unto me. And don't come to me in doubt. Come to me in faith. Believe in me. All of you that are laboring and struggling, come to me. We need to come to God when we're dealing with what's direction to go with our life. Right. You know, life has all kinds of twists and turns. You think you're going to go down that road. That's probably not even the road you're going to travel. Amen. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. The Bible says, you're supposed to say, I'm going to do this and that if the Lord wills. Because nobody knows what tomorrow holds. Come on. You might not even be in Arizona in another week. Wars all around us, rumors of wars. Trying to make us feel insecure. I mean, there's, 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 there's this pressure just trying to survive and stay sane. Yes, oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Yes. Jesus understood all of this. He knew that there are just so many life issues that you just cannot avoid. It's not because, oh, I'm a bad person or because, you know, uh, everything goes wrong for me. No, not everything don't go wrong for you. These same struggles that you have, everyone in the, in the body of Christ has the same struggles. 
Some of us just a little more, God has a little more grace on us. But it wasn't for the Lord, you'd be the one to lose your job. Right. People right. go up being discharged from left to the right. We had a, a board meeting yesterday with the woman of power, and the, and, the, and the accountant was in the room. And he said something that just kind of shook me up a little bit. He said, a lot of his clients have lost everything. And on welfare with food stamps. And used to have mansions and Mercedes and stuff like that. But in a blink of an eye, what seems to be overnight, life has a way of taking a different turn. But thank God we know how to come to Jesus. Come unto me. We, this is one of those texts. This is a life-changing text, but sometimes we just read over it because it doesn't seem to have the kind of, uh, you know, oof that we want. But really, this, this text right here will change your life. If you can ever get to a place where you know how to come to God, when you reach a place of heaviness and burdens and stress and your flesh is out of control, the Bible says that the spirit wars against the flesh and the flesh wars against the spirit. And these two are contrary one to another. So walk in the spirit. What does that mean? If you don't have God on your side, you just cannot make it. You'll commit suicide in a minute. And if you don't commit suicide, you'll do so much crazy stuff, just will mess your life up. Come on. The Bible said, why do the heathen rage? Yeah. One of my favorite scriptures in Psalms 2 and 1, you have to turn there. And the answer is, they rage because they don't have God. Why do they struggle in their lives and in their minds? Angry. Road rage doesn't really come from the road. You do know that, right? <laughs> It's just road rage because that's where you happen to be. Hello. Some folks be snapping in the morning time when they wake up. They ain't even on the road yet. Some folks be at work waiting for you to get there so they can snap. You have to just tell them it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. God is still good. I ain't asking about no God. Jesus recognized in this text in verse 28, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. Now he recognized that he is the answer to every problem. It is something that we must really uh, come to grips with, that our answer comes from the Lord. He is our help, an ever-present help in a time of trouble. He is a high tower. He's high and lifted up. And if we run to him, then we'll be safe. It doesn't mean that our life will be perfect, but it means that all the issues of life, the pressures of life, God will handle them for us. Yes, yes, he will. When you look at the text here in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he says, Come unto me, all of you that are struggling under the burdens of life, that are dealing with problems and issues, everyone is dealing with them. If you come to me, I will give you rest from those things. Thank you, Lord. The concept of rest deals with being able to relax and be refreshed. You ever seen a person that can't relax? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that's me. <laughs> it took me two days just to get rid of anxiety because of always dealing with the pressures of life and people's lives and stuff. 